After the children learn the art of traditional candle making, surrounded by verdant rice paddies and beneath the clear sky yesterday afternoon, it was time for Nampana for the soon to be little monks. During that time, Praajan allowed the children to be more relaxed than usual. Pra Ajahn kindly refilled the Nampana for the children. Afterward, the kids cleaned up the utensils attentively. Pra Ajahn allowed the boys to practice putting on the saffron robes once again. This time, most of them could do it on their own. For Thai monks, there are many ways to put on saffron robes. The one that Pra Ajahn taught the boys is called Hom Dong, which is the most formal way of wearing the saffron robes. Normally, the monks will wear robes in this manner only for an important event. Oh. Then Pra Ajahn reminded the kids to be mindful by doing a meditation for a moment. <laughs> After that, Pra Ajahn reminded them to recognize the importance of the forthcoming ordination. You may find that dressing is quite difficult but it's more difficult for Prajan, who has to facilitate you, who has to train you, is more difficult than yourself. Please feel thankful to Prajan that they put their effort to train you. Tomorrow will be your most important day. Ordination ceremony, every people will come, even though your parents and your relatives. If you don't focus for today, you cannot do it well for tomorrow. Before yesterday's evening chant started, 
The children got a chance to meet their families for the first time since they came to stay and prepare for ordination at Wat Pa Sangam. Families of different races and religions gathered together at the food hall for an evening chant with the children. The teaching so completely explained by him, I bow to the Dhamma. <coughs> the blessed one's disciples who have practiced well, I bow to the Sangha. Now let us pay preliminary homage to the Buddha. Homage to the blessed, noble, and perfectly enlightened one. The boys join Praajan for the evening chant in a composed manner. May whatever living beings, without measure, without end, partakes of all the merit from the good deeds I have done. After the evening chant ended, Praajan let the boys practice the steps of the ordination ceremony, starting from asking for forgiveness and then ordaining. Praajan asked the boys to act appropriately. Before going to bed, Praajan allowed Andrew to ask the boys about their feelings and what they had learned that day. Now, listen very carefully. Who saw their parents today? Who didn't see them? Okay, Vincent, Bin Bin, and Dee. No, I saw them. I saw them. Okay, Vincent, you and I can help with these questions. How did you feel seeing your parents? Happy. 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 What else besides happy? Happy. What do we have? What, what, is, what is gratitude? I'm sorry, before we do that, Adi, you had your hand up before. When you saw your mum and dad, how did you feel? I want to go home and I miss them. <laughs> That's very normal and a very natural way of feeling. I totally understand. You're probably thinking, oh, I want to go home. But actually, the truth is, they're here because you're about to start a new part of your journey, right? Tomorrow, we're not going to be wearing these anymore. Tomorrow, we're in. We're going to wear We're going to wear what? What do we call G1s in English? Robes. He received various answers about the preparation for the ordination. This is what you do. It's a one in a lifetime chance, but not for those two. Listen it's to Jay. Listen to Jay Dan. Listen. What are you saying? It's a. It's a what? It's Sorry. It's a one in a lifetime chance, but it's a two in a lifetime chance for those. Yes, Jaden. <laughs> so I guess I'm fifty-fifty about staying and going home. I'm fifty-fifty on both. Really, DJ? Think seriously about this. Don't just say no. Are you ready for tomorrow? You know, it's okay to be like that. It's okay to not be 100% confident about it. But I'm very excited about it tomorrow. The last question was to review what they had learned throughout the week and what they liked the most. The boys gave various answers based on their opinions. Okay, Port, stand up. Listen to Port. Not Port, not Port, Vincent. 
No, it's too late now. Go ahead. The activity I liked the most was going bintabar in the market without without foot, without uh, our shoes. How was that? Not wearing your shoes. It was excellent foot 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 massage. Did it hurt? Yes. yes. It was yes. awesome. Yes. And 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 going in the small group. And also going on small small groups. It's really peaceful and quiet. I enjoyed today just then when we met our parents. Ah, how did you feel? Uh, happy. Um. I like uh, when um, Prajan Shaki Nuls explains about his pictures, about um, uh, wondering and stuff like that. I, it's not the most enjoyable activity, but I learned the most from it. You learn the most from it? Yes. L what sort of things do you learn from the pictures? Um, wondering, meditation, um, peace, stuff uh -huh. like that. Yeah. yeah, that's a good answer. That's a really good answer as well. Go ahead, Vincent. I like the candle one. Why? Because I it's like Benno because I don't I doesn't know it before how to make candles, uh -huh. of, but now I know that it makes up of beehive. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Think the bees make that for us. I thought it it make up of rock. Yeah, you thought it made out of what? Sorry. Rock. Rock. No, no, no. It's bee beehives do it. Where? The bees leave the hive. You take the old hive and you can turn it into candles. That's amazing, what? right? What have you learned? What have you enjoyed the most, or what have you learned? So the thing that I enjoyed the most was learning about optical illusions with Mr. Nick. Sorry, say that again. Optical illusions with Mr. Nick. Doctor Nick. Optical illusions with Doctor Nick. What were they? For example, what? For example, there was this bunny that was like tipped like this, and then it had ears at the front. But if you looked at it like this way, longwise, it looked like a duck. But if you turn it like this, it looks like a, a bunny. What did you learn from that? That don't believe what you see. And don't believe what you believe. Don't believe. During the conversation, Andrew told the kids that this was the last time he would talk with them playfully. From tomorrow onward, after the ordination, they will have to behave properly and in a calm manner. Today is the day of the ordination ceremony, an important day for the 12 young participants to become novices. They have been trained and practiced for this ceremony throughout the week. Before breakfast, Praajan let the children practice the ordination chant. Ukasa, the beginning word in the ordination chant, means asking for a chance. The chant talks about the wish to be ordained and study the Dhamma and is repeated three times. During the rehearsal, most children were already able to recite the chant. Some were still unconfident, yet with encouragement from Praajan, they tried to chant along with their friends. At breakfast time, some of the children prepared the food for the monks. This is their last morning to offer the food to Praajan as young laymen.
Yeah. Repeat after ECL. Yeah. Yeah. ปัทธานิสัพพาริวารานิปัทธานิสัพพาริวารานิภิกขุสังฆะสะภิกขุสังฆะสะโอโดชยาบะโอโดชยาบะภิกขุสังโฆสาธุสาธุสัมปันเต
led the government heads and government officers from many departments to join the ordination. Ms. Busadi Santipitak, Director General of Department of Information, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Diplomatic corps from various countries of the children's nationalities kindly participated in this event. His Eminence, Mr. Kaganat Atikari, Federal Democratic Republic of Nepal Ambassador Extraordinaire and Plenipotentiary and Permanent Representative to Thailand. His Eminence, Mr. Patrick Simiu Wamoto, Republic of Kenya Ambassador Extraordinaire and Plenipotentiary to Thailand. Her Eminence, Mrs. Kshenuka Tireni Seniwiratne, the Embassy of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, Ambassador Extraordinaire and Plenipotentiary to Thailand and Mr. James Anderson, Deputy Head of Mission of the New Zealand Embassy. At around 1 o'clock p.m., the first True Little Monk a Wisdom Training Program for Novices ordination ceremony started. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Jerome Porcupine Group and True Corporation. Public Company Lim Limited, welcome to the live broadcast of the very first international ordination ceremony for the True Little Monks. Mr. Supachai Jirawanon, Chairman of the Executive Committee of True Corporation Public Company Limited, lit the candles and incense to pay homage to the Royal Triple Gems and talked about the program. The Little Monks program was formed seven years ago and this is through my experience over the monkhood with my son who was at that time 10 years old. I found that the children's mind are actually wonders and they can always ask questions which lead to a lot of explorations. This is the first year that we actually do the international versions of the True Little Monk. And I hoped that it would not be the last year. I hope that we could again gain the support from the public, from all the sponsors, from all the public authorities, and definitely from all the, uh, the monk and the Buddhism authorities in Thailand and around the world. The Governor of Ubon Ratchathani, Director General, Department of Information, and International Diplomatic Corps rejoiced in merits. In the Ubon Ratchathani and, at, and at the province in the northeastern region, are given the precious opportunity to be the part of the supporting did, did, uh, beneficent projects. Local wisdom elites are also, are also participating in this project and attempt to display the Isan Buddhist culture and characteristic to the eye of the people around the world during once month activity. I have followed personally with keen interest through True Little Monk Facebook and today we are also I think worldwide live streaming and fascinated at how adaptable and eager the 12 novice monks are. I'm confident that they will gain an insightful knowledge of compassion, of kindness, being peaceful and conscience from their daily lessons and practice a Buddha is not only a religion, it is a way of life. How to live in harmony in the society, how to be kind and compassionate to others, and how to help others. The principle of non-violence, don't kill others, don't uh, undertake the act of violence. These are the very basic principles. The three gems, Panchasila as we call five gems, eight precepts, the higher you can go, the better your life can be. Therefore, such kind of training would be very useful. And uh, since um, there are 12 young novice monks from all over the world, they will 
go and uh, live a life more uh, happy life i think and they will also try to teach others what they learned here and it will be good for not only for themselves but their society also the concept of love is universal and includes all living beings including animals we also have the concept of humanism which have which is a hallmark of buddhist teachings and i think it crosses all nations and all racial barriers people from different countries even though they are not buddhists all agreed in the value of dharma and the buddha's way in the development of youth อะระหังสัมมาสัมพุทโธภะคะวะพุทธังภะคะวันตังอภิวาเทมิสวาคาโตภะคะวะตาธรรมโมธรรมังนมัสสามิสุปฏิปันโนภะคะวะโตสาวกสังโฆสังขังนมามิ Clear sky above Wat Ba Sangam was a good sign to celebrate this auspicious moment. We now move to the hair clipping ceremony, and in English, we use the word ordination to describe what we're doing today, which actually is a Latin, an old Latin word, which means going back to order and the idea of moving out of the busyness of your daily life and having a peaceful. Way of life as well. This is what we call in English the hair clipping ceremony. The procedure happens just before the ordination, when the senior members of the family and guests clip the hair of the postulants and place them on a an offering tray, which will provide an opportunity for adults to bless and give their children some advice and guidance before they become a novice. It was time for the children to arrive at the ordination site. Now let's meet our old trail boys, Trevor, Tala, Rory, from New Zealand and Thai. Jaden, Dylan, Worrell, Nong, Jaden, eight years old, from Thailand and England. Pumirat, Kujira, Thanawat, all Nong Ati, eight year old, from Thai, Chinese. The spokesman invited the senior monks from Thailand and Bhutan to join the hair clipping ritual. Mr. Supachai Jirawanon, the chairman of the ceremony, and his wife, led the distinguished guests from the government and public sectors, both Thai and foreign, to participate in the hair clipping ritual. While the monks and the family members clip the boy's hair. It is a chance for the adults to give the children advice and rejoice in merits. And let the Buddha and his wisdom be with you. Okay. Using a lotus leaf as a tray to collect the hair. Is one of the devices in Buddhism. Emerging from mud as it may, 
the lotus will eventually rise to the surface when it reaches the blooming stage. Although it is submerged in the water, the leaf itself will never be moist, just like the mind that remains pure and clean from defilement. The parents and families were the last group to clip the hair. According to the Buddhist doctrine, the benefits of ordination will occur to three parties. First, to the postulant himself, from refining the body, the speech, and the mind through sila, meditation, and wisdom. The next is to others, by repaying their parents' gratitude. The last one is to Buddhism as the monk is the inheritor of the religion. Although the ceremony had not yet begun, the parents and relatives of the children had already received the benefits of ordination. After the tonsure ceremony ended, the monks shaved their hair and their eyebrows. Having their hair and eyebrows shaved might be a new experience for most of the boys. The reaction to the rite was varied. After that, we started preparing him because uh, monk's life is not easy. So we told him he needs to prepare because they will be walking, they will be learning, they will be chanting, and they will be sleeping a lot less and eating a lot less. So when he heard about eating less, he was a bit apprehensive. For DJ, when I had the chance to welcome him into novice life, it was very emotional. But um, since we see him today, we're really, really surprised that how he did, how he went today. And I, could, I didn't, I never seen him sit this still before this long. <laughs> and it's only been six days, so yeah. we're, like for the next month, it should be amazing to see him transition or change in his behaviour. Yeah. During that time, Luang Ta Anek preached to the participants. การเตรียมที่จะบวชนี้เป็นเรื่องยากถ้าไม่มีศรัทธาไม่เสียสละจริงๆนะบวชไม่ได้จะต้องมีศรัทธาเป็นเบื้องต้นการที่บวชนี้
have to ask for forgiveness from relatives to become the pure celibacy without any worries. Each parent and each Naga express their feelings differently during this moment. Luang Ta Ane gave a sermon to the parents and the Naga. ก่อนจะเข้าไปบวชนั้นธรรมเนียมประเพณีอันดีงามท่านให้ผู้เป็นลูกเป็นนาคนั้นของขมาคารวะเป็นเบื้องต้นก่อนผู้เป็นแม่
ัตินี้การบวชเข้ามาเปลี่ยนเพศเป็นเครื่องหมายของสมณะครูบาอาจารย์พระอุปชาจึงได้มอบผ้าไตรจีวรที่ตัดเย็บย้อมด้วยน้ำฝาดให้พวกเธอได้ออกไปครองไตรจีวรต่อไป So now you are about to uh, change from the lay uh, lay people to what the uh, the son of the Buddha. Uh, so the upachaya, the preceptor, will give you the the robes. So now with this robe, you can uh, go out and then have a chant and then come back for receiving the triple gem as a refuge and the ten precepts. After donning the saffron robes, they returned to the ceremony to receive the threefold guides and vowed to pay respect to the triple gem, the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. Then they recited the ten precepts, which they will strictly follow while remaining in the monkhood. The young Buddhist followers from various nations are now fully ordained. I wish the novice monks all the best. And uh, such programs, I also would like to thank True Corporation for providing us this opportunity uh, to participate in the program. You know, faith like Buddhism, which uh, uh, at the center of Buddhism is peace and, and love and, 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 and the whole idea of wi using wisdom as, as a weapon yeah. in, instead of having swords, but, but yeah. you use your wisdom to fight ignorance. Yeah. Because one of the challenges that we face in the world today and what makes it so complex is the whole idea, I mean, the, the whole essence of, of, of ignorance. And, and when you look at the Buddhist principles, I think it, it, if, if we were all to you know, practice Buddhism, I believe that we'll probably have a better world to live in. Buddhism is not a religion. Yes. Uh, Buddhism is a philosophy, mm -hmm. and I believe that this philosophy gives people, uh, shows how people, how to lead a proper life, uh, a life of um, where compassion and uh, goodness is the, is the, is the main uh, areas. And so, of course, we see that the children that age from eight Please follow the summary of daily routines tomorrow at 9 o'clock p.m. Follow us worldwide through the streaming on www.truelittlemonk.com. The dual language broadcast is available on True Vision channels 60 and 99 and True Vision HD channels 119 and 333 and True Blue Panya channel. The dual language live broadcast is accessible 24 hours on True ID and True Blue Panya applications. We would like to invite all Buddhists to an alms offering of dried food for True Little Monk, a wisdom training program for novices, at 6 o'clock a.m. at Wat Ba Sangam, Date Udom, Ubon Rachatani, 